Hey, Bill Sharkey here. Welcome to another edition of the Five Minute Motivator. Welcome to Tamarindo, Costa Rica, where normally it's very nice weather, but we are experiencing rain today. <clears throat> it looks like it's going to be an all day rain, and you're going to see this in the next several Five Minute Motivators since I'm actually recording three of them today. Uh, so, uh, hey, what are you going to do? As I say very often, I rather rain than snow. You don't have to shovel rain. Anyway, today, can pride be holding us back? You know, pride is a very, very strong emotion. Pride makes us go down a road, even if we know it's a wrong road for an extended period of time. Pride makes us not uh, extend a, um, a request for assistance when we need to. Come on, guys, how many times were you lost? And your wife said, you should ask for directions. And your response was, I'm not lost. I'm not lost. We know where we're going. I know where I'm going. Just, I, I just have to make one more turn. <laughs> right. Been there, done that. I read an interesting study very recently revolving around liquor stores. And um, here's what the study says. A particular uh, liquor store uh, or ser uh, uh, chain of liquor stores went from cashier, actual physical person, to self-serving kiosks where individuals had the ability to check out themselves. Now, the reasoning behind that was obvious. Uh, what, in, what the company decided to do was to trade labor cost for capital cost assuming that the capital cost would eventually, uh, uh, well, the, the hardware would depreciate, the software would amortize, and uh, aside from any updates, they'd be able to save some additional money. Here's something they didn't expect, however, as they went from traditional cashier to, to self-serve kiosk to check out. The market share of difficult-to-pronounce liquors now, I'm not sure how, the, how they define that. Uh, I don't know if Gewürztraminer is one of the wines that they consider to be a uh, difficult uh, to pronounce uh, um, item. But the fact is, is that the market share for, quote, difficult to pronounce, unquote, items rose 8.4%. The market share for difficult to pronounce items increased 8.4%. And the notion behind that was individuals felt less negatively conspicuous by going up to a cashier with an item that they simply did not know how to pronounce. They just wanted to pay the computer and put the item in their bag and kind of run out and see what it tastes like. So. That is kind of an empirical observation on how pride works. Think of pride in your own life. There's nothing wrong with being proud. There's nothing wrong with being a proud citizen of the country that you live in. There's nothing wrong with uh, having uh, the being proud in terms of your educational and experiential background. There's nothing wrong with being proud of your children. Uh, or the relationship that you're in. There's nothing wrong, actually, with just being proud of who you are as an individual residing on the skin of this planet and making whatever contributions you can. But the question here is pride holding you back. Now, there's no actionable items here except to sit and think about this because it is really, truly up to you to decide if pride is holding you back from making decisions that you should. Think that through. Come up with some answers. And if in fact you believe that pride is holding you back, think about what you can do to change that. This is a personal journey. I wish you the best.